Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI, welcome you right back to Let's Play Shadow Hearts 2. This is episode 21. In the last episode we made it to our snowy town and met our final party member. You know, it's not much of a shock when you've been given all the abilities and all that. Um, uh, Anastasia. So, we're going to have a quick look around. I don't really know where we got to go, so I'm just... <laughs> it's going to be the, uh, the wing of it. We're going to wing it. What's this? A little girl wandering around alone so late at night. Hurry up on home. Before there's another uprising. Well. If I knew where home was, maybe I would. But I don't. <laughs> so, I'm just going to have to look around. Trust, 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 trust. Get it. Get it, girl. <laughs> Hit air expand. Okay. Yeah, it's just random exploration today, I think. It's a massive city, though. It's got to be the biggest town in the game, surely. I'm an artist. New techniques are developed so quickly I just can't keep up with more. Okay. Thing is, is there really that much point exploring if we haven't even got all the party members and stuff? Like, we're not going to be able to do a lot of this. A lot of this stuff. Could buy some stuff, though. Can we still see? We can't see if there's any better or not. And we haven't got item counts because we haven't got all the equipment on it. I think it would be better. It's got to be. We've got the gauntlets, haven't we? Oh, we haven't got the money anyway. What am I looking at? We'll come back later. <laughs> oh, it's the main entrance by the looks of it. I wonder if we can go out or if she'll stop us. She might just stop us. Let's go and see. Oh, hello. Russia is at war with Germany right now, but it started out as a war between Austria and Serbia. I'm not exactly sure how it all happened, but I'm sure there were lots of grown-up reasons. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Never approve a war. After patrol, this way we'll take me out of the city. She, so she does stop us, okay. It's funny because most of the towns, they have this... Let me move the mic. <laughs> they have this same song, the one that I love. This one's got something different, and I'm wondering if it's because we're controlling Anastasia instead of the group. Don't know. Is this the church? Is this the church? Looks churchy? Maybe not. I sneaked out to expose Rasputin's plot. I'll get caught if I go back in now. Oh, that's where we... That's her big mansion. Got it. Oh, nice. I think we'll check that out once we get the rest of the party back as well. There's just no point doing a lot of it when... When we haven't got... Everyone to have the benefit of it, if, if that makes sense. I really don't like big towns. Get so lost. This is okay so far, but we haven't been half the ways. So, it's <laughs> so I don't know. And checking the checking the doors. It looks like they're just you know sort of painted on. Huh? Ne Never river running between. This the Hermitage to the south. Petro Pav Pavlovsk fortress to the north. Uh, not good with Polish, Russian, Russian in this case, but either. Oh, hello. You're the one we're looking for. I knew it. I knew he said... I knew he wasn't going to go to church. Ooh. Ah, the bottles. They they look like they stood out. <laughs> I thought I could have done with them. Was done something with them. But apparently not. Hello. Did you know there was a secret tunnel to the palace somewhere here in town? My grandpa told me. I'm sure that'll be important. Okay, so we went down the stairs. Just... It's still cold. Best thing to do on a night like this go home, have some vodka, collapse into bed. <laughs> have some vodka. Oh, this... this. Yeah. I can't drink vodka straight. It tastes really bad. Like, I, I can't do it. But I can drink it with coke or something. Oop. Have the preparations been completed? Yes, sir. All's well. 
The stalemate on the front line means practically no security in the city. The victory reception is upon us. You have one chance to kill him. You must not miss. Yes, sir. Huh? I can't quite hear it all. Victory reception? One chance? There's only one thing to do. Princess Anastasia, you're alone in a most unseemly place. I... I suppose so, Lord Rasputin. You're different than your sisters. Very curious and brave. But children like that often die young. I heard. You're planning something for the victory reception. Oh. So you overheard me, did you? It's unfortunate to snuff out a young life, but you have nothing to fear, my dear. Your family will follow soon afterwards. What did you say? Shout as much as you like. No one will come to help you. <laughs> I gotta get to Edgar's shop. That was the camera guy who was Edgar. It was, wasn't it? At least I didn't have to remember to get back there. Uh, I think I'm safe here. Hey, is it a boss? Anyway, let's get a little shit. Pendulum. Okay. What have we got, Blanca? <laughs> oh, well. at least you'll have the ability to level up a little bit, I guess. I mean, odds are. Ah, oh, shit. Odds are we'll be ki killing this guy pretty easily. Okay, so we've got to have Anastasia. Take a photo and collect detail any data. Oh, cross magic if she got on again. Oh yeah, special defense up and all that. But I want to use Snapchat. We'll try it. Snapshot. Mm. Aqua rays. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I see what it does then. Bit of magic and poison. Okay. What a special damage and poison. Small. Uh, let's just attack. I see what our attack is like. What she, what she use? Little ball thing. I don't know. But she's like a blue mage. She's like Kamari, or Quina, if you want to go down that route. <laughs> Not quite as weird as Quina. But not a character I tend to use that much. Yeah. Oop. You okay? I'm fine.
Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, come on now. Don't make such a big deal about it. What do you mean, big deal? If these folks hadn't helped you, you would have been... I know, I know. I'm grateful already. What's this? It is a gift. Please take it. Huh. Excuse me, miss. If I may, young lady, there's a much more important question than that. Why was that monster trying to kill you anyway? A royal princess's personal business is none of the affair of peasants. Let's just say that in this great big world, there are those who choose to align themselves with the forces of good and battle against the dark forces of evil. Please, uh, forgive her. She's always liked to daydream. Uh, don't take her seriously. I'm not daydreaming anything! Mm -hmm. Well, my dear, it's probably nothing. Nothing to get too worried about. But that monster that attacked you looked a lot like a creature we fought. It was summoned by black magic. A powerful wizard, am I right? Do you know how to use magic too, like Rasputin? 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 Why did you all shout like that? Please say it isn't true! You're not working with that dirty old man! You know... Rasputin? Yes, I know him. Everybody says that. Because of him, my father's government has been completely ruined. Your father's government? Ruined? That's right. Excuse me, does that mean that you are... <sighs> she is Princess Anastasia Romanov. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> uh, <laughs> playing on a cuteness. Do you mean to say you've been spying on Rasputin all by yourself? This girl is trying to give me a heart attack. Yeah, I bet. I can't let Rasputin get away with it, whatever he's doing. He's going to damage my father's honour. We understand how you feel, but aren't you taking a few too many risks? If you go back and reveal Rasputin's scheme into the Empress, she'll listen to you, won't she? No, my mother never believes anything I say. Now, now, Princess. If Rasputin has such control over the palace, Princess Anastasia's life is in danger. Rasputin is planning on doing something at the victory reception, right? That's right, that's what I think he said anyway. What's this victory reception? His Majesty, Tsar Nicholas II, Emperor of Russia, is out to touring the front, but he'll soon return to Petrograd. The victory reception will be a celebration of his return. Okay, how about this? We can be your bodyguards until your dad gets back. That's a great idea. I can't believe you came up with it. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Geppetto and I can be tutors. Yuri and Georgium, attendants. Lucia, a uh, travelling fortune teller. And Blanca, a new pet. That way we can guard Princess Anastasia. We can get into the Hermitage without any troubles. Sounds like a good idea. But do you really think it'll work? Yeah, I don't know. You guys all look pretty suspicious. I know, Steve. Hello. There we go. <laughs> okay, I know. All of you, come with me. I can get you entry on site into the Winter Palace. I wouldn't mind exploring the town a bit before going there, but if it takes us there. Ah, here we go. Let's change the party. Get rid of her straight away. <laughs> huh. 
Right, so I want to... Oh. Can I put anyone else in? She has to be in the party. Bollocks. But what I will do is at least put her last. There we go. Okay. No, no, no. Nah. <laughs> I'm going to change out. Because we got him each on us. But he also has healing moves. But Karen does too. We're fine. We're fine. We'll put the Trojan back in. I like to have the three fighters. Anything here? Let me. Let me. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm stuck. Lottery ticket. Okay. Nicking the old man's lottery ticket. That's not nice. A huge back room. Which doesn't seem to have much in the middle of it. Just stuff going around the outside. Weird. Weird choice. You'd think there'd at least be like a table in the middle or something. Oh, can't find anything. I wouldn't mind going to the shop next, which was right by the palace anyway. Nah, no, we'll go up here. We haven't been up here. When the palace isn't this way. Okay. I wonder if that's the exit of the town then. So it's not, it's not even close to as big as I thought it was. Let's go down, yeah. We didn't go everywhere down, yeah. You lottery guy now? I don't know if like the characters will be... The NPCs will be different now that... Now that we've got the whole party with us. Maybe they'll let us do different things. Ah, let's head down here now. Man seed. Okay. It's never a waste of time when you get even the worst items. <laughs> Although it does feel like it sometimes. So, next up, the shop. Oh, no, there was nothing down there. We went down there, didn't we, without the monster being there, so. Ooh, ah, oh, that was lucky. Extra bull and fogel power. That was lucky, I wasn't even going to talk to him, I just spontaneously sort of <laughs> decided to. Down here, Lanza. I forgot. Oh, there they are. I forgot where they were. Stinks of ink. <laughs> okay. Yes. Let's see what we can get. A lot more physical attack. Go for one of them. A lot more special attack. Go for one of them. Not that we use him that much, but again, it is side quest and all that, so we'll go for it. So we'll target. <laughs> the favourite bullfighting sword of a legendary matador. <laughs> I don't know why I like that. See, we're saving 3,000 odd now for finding that other pipe in, in the prison. I don't know why I'm getting a satin fan. This might be the most pointless choice. But... No more armour. That's alright, we haven't had much trouble in that sort of department, have we? Mm, that seems about it. Yeah, that's all I want. This is going to be a decent discount if I can get this now. Okay. Yeah! 20% off, we've gone up to rank C. Which I think lets you have 30% off. We'll see next time. Yeah, max 30% discount. Or 15% markup if you're selling. We haven't been selling too much. I think we'll start doing now once once we need to, really. That's, hmm. Let's head on in. We didn't see it from the front entrance, did we? We were blocked off by two men.
It certainly seems to be the authentic article. Well, we do aim to please. May I consider our negotiations to be completed then? Yes. Whatever may happen within Russia, the goodwill of Japan will extend to whomever the next emperor may be. I'm afraid I'll require more than that. You don't need to worry. I'm the direct representative of the Foreign Minister Kantaro Ishimura. My words may be considered the will of the Emperor. We look forward to establishing joint aviation and communication companies with you. Naturally, we'll shoulder the full cost. By summer, we should be able to supply you with rations and fully modern weapons. Thank you. It sounds good. When do you think I will be able to meet with His Holiness, Lord Rasputin? I'm so sorry. His Holiness is terribly busy. That's fine. Please give the future Emperor my best. Naturally. Whoever takes over the throne will find a true friend in my country. Huh. See, I don't find this section of the game plot-wise very exciting. I don't know if it's just me. I, don't know. I think that's a general thing about a lot of the cutscenes in this game. I love the game. Don't get me wrong, for the gameplay and the music and the environments. But I'm not too sure about the plot half the time. Or the way the plot is shown, you know. Okay, plenty of ways to go. Hello. Oh no, did I gain weight again? My corset's so tight. Another point of them? <laughs> Ah, the ladies of the ball. Beautiful butterflies. Oh, how I love their well cinched little wrists. <laughs> okay, sir. Don't have to be so pervy about it. Mm. I'm like that at parties. Never a clue what to say to people. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all everyone's talking about is the war. You'd think it was this big thing. Ah, <laughs> oh, Romeo and Juliet style, is it? Not quite, but... Forbidden love is all I meant. Oh, what we got? Lottery ticket? Bloody hell, we've found a few of them lately. I haven't seen a lottery guy, though. Maybe I've missed one. Chest, chest. Let's go for that first. It's bad. Ah, oh, I just bought one. Didn't equip it all, though, did I? What a dick. Let's get... Let's do that now. White swan. Defensive weapon made from an easter egg. She uses easter eggs. <laughs> I quite like that. <laughs> Don't need more attack power, surely. We've got two of them, so she can have one of them. There we go. I didn't equip the rest of them. I got distracted by your Easter egg usage. <laughs> okay. Wait, by the way. Oh no, I want to put you. Why do they keep talking about the stealing food? Jesus. Olive. Whenever I, Whenever there's someone with the name Olive, I always think olive oil. Okay, we can't go... We can't use the North Stairway. Try the other way then. 
So I'm, I'm not being that excited today. I'm a bit... Dead end. I like the effect though, through the through the windows. Because you don't see that very often in these sort of games. Older sort of games. It's always just like black windows or something like that, I don't know. Are we going? I don't know where we're meant to go now. Made it to her room. Is this it? <laughs> Nothing's been said, so I guess not. Maybe we're meant to meet with her mother? Oh, we're meant to go to the ball, and we're in the other corridor. I'll check the last door now, just in case, because I don't want to be stupid enough to skip it and then have it be the place we need to go to. Nothing in there, though. There we go. Nothing in there. I know, I know. We've been in all these rooms before, so it's pointless checking it all, but... Just, like I said, I don't want to miss anything. Alright, I know. All important guests. Ooh. I'm being this way. You go, music stopped. And so, these are the ones who saved the princess from the vicious wild dog. Anastasia, what on earth were you doing out at night? Well, I had an important chore to take care of at Edgar's. You couldn't take care of it tomorrow? No. Nevertheless... Even if you did save my daughter's life. We cannot allow strange people to wander around inside the castle. But why? There's nothing wrong with them! How can you be so certain? You would resist me whatever I said. But... Lord Rasputin. Anastasia is at a naturally curious age. She's bound to have an adventure or two. Surely it was God's will that she be saved by these kind benefactors. You surprise me, Lord Rasputin. They're clearly travelers from far away. I'm sure they'll be fine companions to the princess. Mm. Very well. Anastasia, you may go with the strangers. I should like to thank you again for saving my daughter's life. Have a pleasant stay in my land. Thank you, Empress. Still alive, I see, little one. So you're Rasputin, eh? Yes. And I've heard of you too, Godslayer. You were behind my familiar's death. Huh? Huh? Veronica! Hmm. Long time no see. <laughs> Do you wish to fight here? Yeah, maybe. Uh. 
Let's not. There's no need to get blood all over this lovely church. I'll be in the Lion Shrine to the north. Call on me any time you wish. Lion Shrine, eh? So that's Rasputin, huh? He's got a look of danger just behind that creepy smile of his. Hmm. He's obviously no ordinary man. He's on a whole different plane from Nikolai or Lenny. Yeah, looks it. Come okay, on now, everybody, don't look so glum. Now's the time to put our heads together and come up with a strategy. I just noticed the music's back. The town music. Who's here's right, everybody? Okay, let's go to my room then. I can talk in peace there. Okay. Oh, I've got a box here. <laughs> uh, he's always nervous. I'm looking behind pillars everywhere I go. That I see pillars. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to leave. Because, you know, the treasure hunt. The treasure clue. Ah, uh, nothing. Aha, we're here again. That's odd. Alright, alright. We'll go now. Can I test you tomorrow? Ooh, what we got by here then? Circlet. What does that do? Alright, uh, shall we set? Seven. Oh, okay. So what did the circle do? Does that have to be female? Women's, okay. Adds defense. One more defense, but quite a lot more special defense, so, okay. That'll do. Not a bad find. <laughs> There's the music part. It's weird, though. It's weird they made that choice. Oh, oh, okay. Two ways back in there. So we gotta go back to her room. We gotta remember the north, the lion shrine. Okay, fine by me. There's a save point back in her room as well, wasn't there? So, ah, oh, there's one by you. I don't want to save by you just because I'm probably gonna forget. Wait to go next time because I'm going to stop recording because I got a hell of a headache. I haven't had enough sleep the last two nights. It's been a bit on and off my sleep pattern. Here we go. Should be this room, I think. Huh. Huh? What's the big deal? that too. So the ball has begun? It's every night. Every night. There's something wrong with them. This whole country is insane. Maybe it should disappear. Hang on. The people's anger is ready to explode and we pretend nothing's going on. We're like Nero. We keep on fiddling as the world is burning around us. It's the same problem for all leaders. This country has gotten too big. Yep. Hmm. Don't say that. You'll bring us bad luck. That's right. There are a lot of people that still have dreams. I worry. Someday, I'm afraid the people's anger will explode and they'll burn down my palace. He first came to the palace some years ago. My mother was in anguish over Alexei, born with a rare and painful disease. One day, a man came from Siberia who was said to have great powers of healing. 
that was the monk, Rasputin. Rasputin healed my brother's illness and earned the trust of my mother. Since then, he has begun to wield greater control over the country. My father himself is a kind man, but he has left too much to his ministers. Their idea of government is one which simply keeps the people oppressed. And anger towards the emperor who allows it is threatening to boil over. Even the war could soon be ended if my father would stand up and be strong. But there are some who profit from war and wish for it to go on forever. If I were a man, I'd be able to help my father. I wish I were in Alexei's place. Anastasia. Russia is infected by a disease. We're a statue too stiff to move. <laughs> I'm half Russian, you know. My mother was born and bred in Russia. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. So don't get so depressed, all right? If the princess gives up, Everyone else will, too. Yuri. When your father comes back, you should talk to him. He'll understand how you feel. He loves you, doesn't he? Yeah. Huh. Something... Strange is going on. Uh. Alexei? Alexei? Where are you? Uh, mother! Alexei, is that you? What's wrong with Alexei? Why are you looking for him? Uh. Alexei! Veronica's behind this, too. She's cast a sleep spell on the entire palace. How do we remove it? Either break the field, or defeat Veronica herself. Listen to me, shithead. I'm coming for you now. Very well. I'll be waiting for you here, Godslayer. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh, okay. So what characters are we allowed to get rid of then? Anastasia has to be in the team. I'd like to have you in front. I don't no real reason why. <laughs> oh, I wish I could get rid of her so bad. Yep, that's fine. Alright, so what I'm gonna do Oh, shop. Is it the same as the one outside? 
No, I know. I haven't got any of those items. That, I didn't mean to do that. Let me talk. <laughs> I'm in a shopping mood today. Yeah, that's uh, priorities and all that. <laughs> I want a new weapon for Joachim now. Just because... Joachim. Um, just because he... He's up to date with the shops again. And I don't like that. <laughs> okay, let's just save. So, this has been Greeny XI. I hope you've enjoyed at least a little bit. I know I haven't been quite quite with it. Uh, Commentary-wise, I got cold, I got a headache, I got everything. And, um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit.